This one's called the chest press. You don't have to have a shoulder mount to be able to do this one, but I found for a lot of pullers, they find that if they do enter this from a shoulder mount, they find that it's a little bit easier to find the grip, okay? That being said, I like to first break it down without going from a shoulder mount. And the reason is, what a lot of people tend to do in the beginning, if they try to shoulder mount directly into this, they roll right across their collarbone. That does not feel good, okay? So we're gonna start with this initially just from a crucifix, okay? So you can invert into it, or should you be in some kind of combo and you find yourself of like, oh look, I'm in a crucifix, you can drop down into this, okay? So it doesn't matter which side you invert on. Um, let's talk about positioning with this one. So for this one, it's going to go on your chest here, hence the chest press. But that being said, the position of where it is, A, is going to vary person to person. It's also going to change depending on how flexible you are, depending on how confident in the move you are, okay? So in the beginning, it's going to be more up here, like on your breastbone here. Eventually, it, depending on how flexy and archy everything you get into it, it will actually start to roll and it can end up all the way down here. Okay, so depending on your body, depending on your strength, depending on your comfort level, don't feel like it has to be here. Also, on that note, when you work on this one, I would highly recommend picking a side, okay? I don't know about you, but having it right directly on my sternum, the pole, does not feel good. Um, we get a little more squish over here, even if it's down in this area still versus like coming right down the middle, and then it actually kind of gets smushed between your ribs, which is not a good feeling, okay? So you're definitely going to pick a side chances are, most likely, if you're a shoulder mounter, you're going to end up picking whatever is your favorite shoulder mount side. And it just barely ends up off center, okay? So you don't have to overthink it, but just keep in mind, don't think of trying to line it up perfectly. It's going to go to one side or the other, okay? Um, the grip on this one, it is a cup grip, okay? Much like with a shoulder mount, so you're not wrapping your thumbs, okay? You're pulling it to there. Um, head position. I see a lot of people do different head positions with this. Personal preference, but to me, I prefer the head lifted. It has more of a contortion-y kind of look to it. Plus, you'll find when you lift your head and you arch into it, you're able to access more of your upper back, and it actually puts it in a better place here. If you keep your head down, this ends up very flat, and you end up with more surface area, but that surface area doesn't help you hold on more. It just hurts more, okay? But once again, personal preference on that. The other part on this, one of the things I love about this shape is that it's a beautiful shape either with the knees still on the pole or with the knees off, okay? So you, like I said in the beginning, you don't have to have a solid shoulder mount to be able to be working on this one, okay? So we're going to go from a crucifix to get into it. Um, and then from the crucifix, you're going to go cup. It doesn't matter which hand, left over right, right over left. Like I said, whatever feels natural. And chances are you're going to go with whatever is your natural shoulder mount if you have a shoulder mount already, okay? So hook the legs. Bring your chest to the pole, okay? Cup here. And see, my hands are kind of at my stomach chest area. I'm gonna start to slide my knees down, look at the pole, really push my chest into the pole, and maybe just bring my heels to my butt, okay? So that's your initial. And in the beginning, like I brought both feet to my butt. Don't feel like you have to bring both feet. When you first go to it, I'm still holding this grip here, but you can see I started to create a space right here. Okay, so you have your crucifix where your legs are hooked, and then it's just a matter of, like, if you're in a climb, you're here, you're still holding, okay? So you still have that grip between your knees when you go into it, okay? So that would be first step. Feel this. Really think about as you're in it, doing, like, here I'm very flat, think of doing this, like you're trying to stick your tatas out, okay? In doing that, that increases that pressure point there. Okay, um, and then you can see also my head started to lift as I pushed my chest out. Okay, so like I said, I would recommend first going from the crucifix and getting into position because you can see when I went into it, one hand could kind of just shift down. So let's look at that one more time. Hook the legs, bring your chest to the pole. One hand goes into a cup, then the other hand, look at the ground, really push your chest in and to here. Okay, to get out, just hook a leg. And, or you can rehook back up to the crucifix. Okay, so there's your initial. I find for a lot of people that lifting the head and looking at the ground is kind of almost the scariest part. Okay, you kind of look down and it's like, oh my gosh, there's the floor. Okay, so don't feel like you have to go big right off the bat, kind of ease into it. But the goal is to have that, you know, kind of snake archy look. Okay, so try it first from that entrance. If you have a shoulder mount, 
like I said, there's less hand switches if you go into it from shoulder round. But this is also a great move for, you know, you probably find yourself in a combo sometime and you're like, oh, I'm upside down, I'm in a crucifix. What can I do from here? Great. But if you're getting into this from the ground, shoulder mounting up, your hands are already in position, okay? So if I go from a shoulder mount, everything exactly the same, hands are already in position. And as I already noted earlier, my hands are ending up right about here. When I shoulder mount, I think of pulling to my chest. And in doing so, it puts less pressure here, less likely to catch my collarbone, okay? So I would recommend going from the shoulder mount, hooking your legs, and then going into it. If you try to go shoulder mount and roll right into this without your legs touching, you're more likely to catch this. Once again, doesn't feel good, okay? So we're gonna go shoulder mount, whichever side you want to go with. Hook the legs, chest, look at the ground, and arch. And if that feels good, we start to bring the legs off, okay? So you can make it whatever shape that you want to have. Um, oftentimes we get upside down and we get confused about where our legs are, very common, upside down brain. Um, think about when you're in it, bringing your knees to your chest, okay? And that'll automatically, when you bring your knees to your chest, start to stick your booty out, which is what you want, okay? So grip points, cup grip, both hands, somewhere between here, depending on your body type, your flexibility, everything, okay? Really think about pushing your chest into the pole like your chest bumping the pole, those are definite always contact points. Optional contact points is the knees squeezing together and holding the pole like in a climb. And then, like I said, starting to bring your heels to your butt. And then you can make whatever leg shapesies that you want to have, okay? So, one last time. Hook, look at the ground, pull it to your chest, really arch, find the shape. And re-hook. And that is the chest press.